Before I was working here, I was actually I used to be a third grade teacher, and I also used to work for a, another company that did remodeling. And so I did those things for a few years, wasn't enjoying it, wasn't having the success I was uh, hoping to have there. So at the time I had a good buddy that was working here. I know he was having a lot of success, he really enjoyed his job. So we, um, I asked him if there's any openings. Fortunately there were and uh, you know, I, was, I was blessed and fortunate enough to get an interview and be brought on the team. And there's, there's a lot of things I love, but I, I'd say uh, personally there's a lot of opportunities for me to have a lot of success, which is very important. Um, something else to say is this job comes with such little stress compared to other things I've done. I told you I used to be a teacher and so to me I'm very just grateful to wake up and, and go home and just have a job that I look forward to doing and know that it's at the end of the day everything's going to be great. Um, and then I'd say the other rewarding part of it is, is I, I really get to help people make a big decision in their life and help them find a home of their dreams and a home that makes a lot of sense for their family. So anything fitness and sports related. I'm up six days a week, I like to go to the gym, and I just absolutely love football, baseball, basketball, go birds, um, and really anything competitive. Love cornhole, all challenges are welcome. So anything that I can channel my inner competitiveness in, I'm down for. You know, I think it's just about being genuine. Um, in, my you know, in my job, I take the responsibility to really help them make arguably the biggest financial decision of their life, or at least one of them. So I take a lot of pride in making sure that the, the homeowner has a peace of mind and that they're really excited about the home they're buying um, and just making sure at the end of the day they're, they're very happy with the decision they made. There are a few things that come to my mind. I think the, the number one thing would be my family. I have just the absolute best parents in the world. I also have four brothers that are just my, my best friends. So my family is definitely number one. Um, I told you I used to be a teacher and one of my favorite quotes when I was teaching is that a kind word from a teacher can echo in a student's mind forever. And so when I was in fourth grade I was, I was fortunate and blessed enough to actually happen to me. Um, long story short, we had a new student come to our school when I was in fourth grade. Uh, having the special education background I, I have, it is safe to say this student had autism. So unfortunately he was casted out, didn't really have a lot of peers. So I took him under my wing, I was very kind to him. As a result, he picked me to come join him in a small group every Friday. And so we did that for the rest of the year, where I was in a group with him and a few other kids who were very similar to him. And I remember at the end of the year, the teacher pulled me aside and she just, she thanked me and she said, Brent, you're the most mature fourth grader I've ever had. And that, that always resonated with me. Although I laughed because if she would have saw me in any of my other classes or talked to my, my peers and my family, they'd say, no way, you have the wrong kid. But yeah, that was, that was something I was, uh, that's always resonated with me.